on a BGC glide. It's pretty heavy fish for being so short. Let's think about these nice northern strain. They're really aggressive, short, stocky, and just fat. Such a monster, Smalley. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, yes. No, no. Came out of the net. No way. Came out of the net. <gasps> That's a toad smallie. Look at that beast. What a beast. <sighs> That's my PB smallie right there. Pushing it out. Yeah. All right, guys, welcome back. We are here at Lake Trinity. We drove all the way up here hang out with some friends we originally had a tournament up here but it was canceled so uh, we still came up here to just have some fun we figured you know uh, the fishing was gonna be probably gonna be a lot better than what it was down at home right so my last two trips uh, fishing my home lake I ended up getting stung so uh, coming up to Lake Trinity hopefully we catch some fish because the last time I was up here man we we caught them pretty good so um, you know the fishing usually is pretty good apparently so uh, this lake doesn't get a lot of bass fishing pressures. Hopefully we catch a few fish and have some fun hanging out with the friends, right? So uh, I came up with John Myers. He's back there just uh, fixing up his kayak. A few other guys are going to show up later. But we're going to be here for today, tomorrow, and the after tomorrow, three days. Today we got maybe about two to three hours of fishing until it gets dark. But we're just going to get on the water and see if we catch a few. And then uh, tomorrow and the after tomorrow will be four days of fishing. So uh, hopefully we catch on to them, guys. So stay tuned. All right, guys. So... Um, it's really hot out here. It's like 107 degrees or something like that. Something ridiculous. My GoPro had already shut off early from the overheating when we're unloading. And, um, you know, I've tried to catch as much content as I can for you guys, but 
you know this heat is just really hard to work these gopros you know? so first thing we're just gonna run to this first main lake point we see we're just gonna fish around here and see if we see anything and then go on from there right There's a lot of water to cover. I'm just throw this crankbait around. See if you get tagged on it. <laughs> I got one. I didn't even know I had a fish on it. It's a little, little one though. Little mean smolly. That fish on life go hit on the way up. That's a good fish. Oh, quinoa! That was a giant, like a four and a half pounder. Jeez. Another good fish. Big ol' smolly. Gosh, it fell over. That's a three and a half pound smolly. Look how wide that thing is. It's about 18, 19 inches. Wet this board a little bit. It's so hot, probably fry him up. 19 and a quarter. That's why we come to Trinity, guys. Got some big old smallies. Alright, guys, that's a good fish. 3.6, 19 inches. A little skinny, but nice and wide. That's two good bites from right here. Man, that first largemouth I lost was a really solid fish. I just 
pretty bummed out about it, but well, it is what it is, right? Just gonna keep grinding away. Alright, so we did a little offshore fishing. We found one spot that had, uh, I guess, good fish. Uh, we lost one really good one, about four and a half largemouth on a crankbait. I saw it follow the deep crank all the way back to the boat and then I, I, just, I killed it and let it float up. I took my sweet time with it and it came off, but it is what it is, right? Just, uh, and then uh, right after that, like two casts in, I catch that, uh, that big smallie and a few small fish just uh, fan casting around, but just gonna run and check the bank and uh the sun's kind of setting so maybe that shallow bite might be better you know there's less boat traffic in the water so with what i figured out so far it's uh they're not really on the points they're, they're offshore but uh they're not really stacked and about 15 to 20 feet seems to, seems to be where i'm getting my bites and then um you know yeah we're just gonna run the bank look for try to look for some more steeper banks maybe banks with stumps but uh, a lot of these banks are just kind of bare since the water is really high but um yeah we're just gonna run into this creek arm and see if there's anything that looks good so let's see what happens Gosh, I got bit. Hooked itself.
little guy, but I'm gonna scout a lot of water through this one bay for a while. You know, started tucking the crank. Got another one. It's pretty slow for me, but figuring something out. <laughs> <laughs> 